Our new concerns about the spread of whooping cough in our community. Already this school year, we've had a confirmed case in the tri-state. Last year, we had a record number of cases as the virus spread in Grant County. Health care providers are reaching out to share new recommendations for protection. Medical reporter Liz Bonus joins us now with what they want new moms to know. Liz? Hey guys, good evening. The most dangerous time for a newborn when it comes to pertussis or whooping cough as it's known is in the first couple of months of life. That's when a baby is too young to have a vaccine against it. But now maternal health education specialists at St. Elizabeth Healthcare say there is a new step that mom can take to protect a baby in a whole new way. <sighs> Little Theodore, or Teddy as he's called, is 24 hours old. Already his parents hope. That he always just follows his heart kind of deal. Does what makes him happy and makes his own path. He's off to a good start and a healthy one too. Thanks to what's called cocooning by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention with the Tdap or whooping cough vaccine. And that just means getting all of the family members around the baby vaccinated, kind of make a cocoon or a protective uh, wrap around the baby from uh, pertussis or whooping cough. But now as Christina Rust, a maternal child health educator has been sharing with all of her patients, there are new recommendations for mom and baby. And the new recommendation is to give that prenatally so she can pass the antibodies for the whooping cough to her baby while it's inside. As part of these newer recommendations, she points out something very important, that while dad can get this vaccine or another relative can get this vaccine once, mom may need this with every pregnancy to help protect a baby in a special way. You see, the study that led to these new recommendations found mom getting the Tdap vaccine with each pregnancy has actually decreased whooping cough in babies zero to two months of age. And since that is the most vulnerable time that this bacterial infection can set in and lead to deadly consequences for babies, little Teddy's mom knows. That's great as a two for one because I got the immunity and then I can pass it on to him. Smart mom there. The CDC came out with this recommendation because, believe it or not, less than half of pregnant women in the U.S., they say, get the vaccines that are needed just for little things to protect a baby. And we have a link with all the details. If you want to take it to your doctor, print it out. It's at local12.com. Hurts my chest to hear that baby cough like you know, that. And that can set in so quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, you think, oh, I can get them to the emergency room. You might not have time to get that. And that's why they're trying to get the word out. Good info. Thanks. All right. Thank you.